Well, hello, you're amazing Florida JS people. Here I am in front of an API. So let's, this is a series called Hackathon uh, Cheats or Hackathon Tricks that I'm gonna showcase here. One of the things that I want to, to help with is that some of you are fantastic API developers. We love what you do. And I wanna see more of that. But what if you get to a hackathon or what if you wanna create a project and you're like, I just want to showcase my app, my front end. There's not much I, I have to do on the front on the, on the uh, front end. I wanna showcase my API is what I'm trying to say. So let's do that by choosing an example that I know very well. Sampleapis.com has a wonderful list of coffees. Let's click on that list. Here I is, I click on it over here, and I can see that it's a list of traditional coffees. If I switch right here and I switch the hot for iced, another URL endpoint sort of that we have here, we have a different list with nice descriptions, ingredients, even a, a, an image. I like that. What can we do? so that we can showcase our amazing work, let's pretend this is our amazing work, on the front end. Let me show you something called Streamlit. Here I am, a brand new project. I'm gonna create a brand new file. This is gonna be called app.py. Now, it's going to be in Python, but don't worry if you don't know Python. If you do know Python, you'll know right away what I'm doing. If you don't know Python, don't worry. It comes free with any Linux or Macs. And for Windows, simply go to python.org, that's P-Y-A-P-Y, T-H-O-N, and if you have it installed, you'll be able to go dash dash version and see what version you have. Now, I happen to be one of those people that has 3.11 installed. Not to worry about 3.11, if you want to call it correctly. Not to worry about it. Anything with a three in front of it works for, for this particular situation. What we need to do though, in this situation, if you, don't, if you do know what to do with Python, you create your own environments, et cetera, et cetera. But everybody else, once you have Python installed, just pip install streamlit.com. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it because I've already have it installed and they'll do a lot of different things in there. So again, pip install streamlit.com. Now, what I wanna show you here is that once you've installed it, you can go ahead and do some magical things with it. In this case, what it's gonna do is it's going to, we're gonna call it by saying streamlit space run and then the app we wanna run. Now again, remember what we're doing here. We're doing a wonderful fancy front end with you having to do no HTML, no JavaScript, nothing. Just follow along in here. What we're gonna do with this is of course, we're going to be importing this library into our program. So stream lit uh, as ST, that's a common practice. Now for the purpose of what we're doing, because we're gonna hit your APIs, stream lit is truly for data analytics. And so that's why Copilot right now is suggesting some data analytics things. And if that's you, you can continue on the line. I don't need to. I do need to hit your this particular API that we needed to talk to. So for that, I need to import JSON. That's built into uh, Python. And we need to also import requests, okay? requests perfect now one of the things we want to do is i want to show off and i really want to give you an, an showcasing of what's going on here what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and go title and we're going to put the title of the website and here's one of the things that i want you to choose to know about there's a lot of things we can do including the most important part <laughs> the emojis somehow i already have the coffee emoji in there as if it knew what i was going in there so Coffee recommendation sounds like a great suggestion. At Copilot, always so smart. Now, we're gonna go ahead and say ST, I'm sorry, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna need something called, uh, you know, what type of coffee? Going back and reminding us as what is going on in the situation, it's the type of different coffees that we have in here. So we have hot and we have iced. So that's what we're gonna look for in from the customer, uh, from, from the customer, from the, the, the user. So let's go ahead and type in uh, type equals text input and then you know type of coffee and because the customers of the user doesn't really know we're going to tell them it's going to be really hot or you know iced they might think it's it's cold that's not the right type of thing we want there now just doing that and running streamlit space run dot app in that folder you'll find that you get here on that pops up in another window here an amazing page that looks incredible and even had the wrong air and all that so as you can see I know it's an error, but I'm gonna pause here and just showcase some amazing things it does in here. In fact, I'm gonna choose the option to showcase this deployed. Now, 
I need to be signed in to do so. I'm not signed in, so I will go ahead and do so. Uh, uh, you can try the deploy when you have a little bit of time. It takes a little bit more, but that means that you can get this running on a website. And I know that some of the hackathons require you to have it on the website. So you, with your amazing API, can almost within a couple of seconds, I mean, it's been a minute and a half since I've been starting to talk about this, right? So get this working here. I'm going to press on the three dots, settings, and say that the second I run it, I want to see it. In fact, what I'm going to do is going to put it to the right here, move it to the right-hand side of the screen, and then put in our code, pardon me, not that one, our code in here so we can see it right away. Okay, so let me get our information over here. Let's move that out of the way so it's it's nice nice and and slick here. Perfect, wonderful. All right, so we have an extra uh, a typo again. That's just my 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 typo. Let's go ahead and correct that. Everybody has that. That's the right thing. I forgot to put st. <laughs> Good thing I have notes. Let's go ahead and and showcase. We're going to go to the right, and we can see that information is in there. Okay, so live. Hacking means live error coding and all that. So I can actually come in hot and press enter and well, nothing happens because as you can see, our code doesn't really do anything. Let's get the code to just start doing things. With the type, we can go and say, if I have something, if I type something in there, this prevents it from constantly trying to check the website. And we can go ahead and type in URL and then go to our URL of our API. So what was that URL in the API? Sampleapis.com. I'm going to go ahead and type in the from the uh, I, I happen to to know exactly what it was and then there's our coffee that's our url okay so let's go ahead and copy that link bring it over here and that looks good but of course the idea is that we say whatever the user has typed you know the type of coffee not what they typed but what the type of coffee then just add it in here then we can go ahead with that information is amazing how how this one is, so we're going to do response equals requests dot get URL. You now have that request information. You now have it in a variable. And what we can do is we can say coffees. So maybe the list of coffees is equal to JSON and then have it parse loads response dot content. Now this you don't have to memorize there. Then we can go ahead and st dot write and then list of coffees. So what does that mean? That means that as we type things, we get a JSON back. Now, this is a good looking website. Let me bring it up here to really showcase it. it that even works very well on, for example, a web page or a phone or something like that. And again, we can just showcase this, right? You can go up to an iced and you can showcase your amazing API. Look, everybody, as I, as we chise different URLs, it comes in there. You could write the URL down. You could showcase what it is to showcase even more. Let's do that. We're kind of proud of our own URL, right? So we can go st over here, pardon me, st.write, and then tap in the URL. Just showcase to everybody that what we're doing is, is that URL. So this is the URL you could also be using if you needed to do this, right? And as you can type in hot, we can showcase that's a different URL will come in here. But this is, it's cool. It's cool. You and I understand it's cool. I just won't understand it's cool. What if we could just go ahead and type a little bit more about it? So we could type in more of their specific in there. What if we were to iterate through this? So let, so for coffee, list of coffees. So this is how we do things. <laughs> Copilot, you're not letting me get the, the impressing things in here. This is, we're going to ignore that for a second. This is what we're going to be doing. But here we can go ahead and ST write. And we can go and say the coffee, the individual coffee, and then the title. Right? And we do that. And now all of a sudden our JSON becomes a little bit of a title. Please excuse me as Visual Studio showcasing some of the things that are coming in there in documentation. We can also do some write coffee and then the image, right? So if we look at it, that's the actual image we're coming out there. I got that from looking at the content. Again, I can you can go right click and open it in Postman. Let's not be, you know, let's not be obvious. You're a Postman person. You love Postman. You could showcase all this information. This is what the endpoint looks like that we're hitting. And we can showcase this. This is a way to showcase. It's a beautiful way to showcase this. We're trying to evolve and get it even better. 
what if we were to point it, let me go back to, again, this is information here, point it in a little bit better. That's cool. I mean, you know, you can go and say, what does a latte look like? I can click on it. That's what a latte looks like. Uh, let's get a little bit better. Instead of right, we can do image. There's some built-in some information we have here. And now our list is fancy. And you're like, now this is looking good. This is truly showcasing our API, our amazing API. Pardon me for not using that adjective before. This is looking great. But those users, they're going to tap in the wrong thing, and they're going to come in here. We need to showcase that a little bit better. We could improve that by typing the, the type of coffee and making it not a textbook, but maybe something like a select box. There's all sorts of different ones, and we'll look at what's going on in there. It's giving an error because the select box needs more than just a text box, like a text, which would the text input needed. It needs what we wanted to showcase, and also what are the different options. I wanted to choose only cold, I'm sorry, iced. Look at that, I almost made that mistake, and hot. Now it's a drop down list. It's a fancy drop down list, which, which you can go ahead, and as you change, it instantly changes the website right so go ahead and choose the hot and you can even have them sort of start typing and then once they choose the drop down so this is a list of states this is a list of thirty thousand things you can have them type in here this is pretty good looking this is great this is pretty sophisticated uh, what can we do with that's a little better can we do multiple inputs well that's a great question you asked we can what if i wanted to filter my particular uh, um information my particular api does allow filtering so what if i did something like a uh, text box back to the input and i say filter by name please excuse me uh, filter yeah by name that's good and in fact we can put here as you can see here something in here like you know what you can put uh, what is the like suggested you know information or just leave it the way it is now we have a filter by name and i want to sort of filter all the ones that are start with the cap cappuccino so, but of course, it's not really doing that. It's showing me all these ice box and things like that. Well, it's because cappuccino, of course, isn't hot. No, of course, it's not doing that because we haven't utilized that new variable. Since we have that variable, we can showcase that over here. Now, what my particular API is, is allows me to filter by certain things. My particular API is using JSON server. So I can do things like, I know that the title is like, and then put in something like the filter. Now, all of a sudden, it understands what that is like. And I can go ahead and say hot, cold. I can get the cappuccino. Let's see. Oops, my apologies. I don't even know my own API. So over here is all the iced coffees. Let's go ahead and do hot. That's good. I'm going to filter it down to something like cap, cappuccino, and nothing else gets chosen. Oops, I didn't mean to filter it down. Let's erase that and press enter and then right away we can see what's going on in there okay this has been streamlined this is your answer to this particular information this particular snippet of code will be available for you just below in the comments if you want you can now showcase your amazing api in a good looking way that people can interact with it click on that button and get it deployed live you want to see what it looks like deployed live? Well, how about this? I'm going to do one better for you. I'm going to show you the cheat sheet that has all the inputs and all the things you can do. This is one of the deployed lives. This was created with stream, uh, stream lit language with the STs and all these type of things. This is called the sidebar as an example. These are all the different things you can do with it. You can handle different objects. You can handle JSON. You can handle most objects, but just the right it will be able to figure out what's going on. You can do markdown, you can do latex, you can do all sorts of different things, headers, subheaders, maybe some code you can showcase in different places. You can showcase it on the side bar, you can showcase it in the navigation. This is part of the things that they do. You can showcase it in all sorts of different ways. This allows you to do absolutely zero code. Your amazing, beautiful API can flourish can be shown to the world in an easy way. You will look and you will see all this, this information, all these links down below in the comments. I think you're going to do great. I love that you're in that hackathon. I think you're going to kick butt. And I can't wait for you to use this and many of the other services 
to showcase to the world your amazing capabilities because I think they're great. Continue doing what you're doing because you're amazing. See you at the winner's circle.